So John Murdy came out today on Twitter, but it wasn't typically an HHN post. More on the line of um, him starting his own Twitter account. And I found that kind of interesting and got me wondering, is this John Murdy's last year at Halloween Horror Nights? Stay tuned right now. What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is the Knights of Horror here coming at you with another video. Today's video, um, I want to give a special thank you to uh, HHN Maddox. He sent me this this morning on Twitter uh, via direct message. And um, so yeah, shout out to you, uh, HHN, at HHN Maddox, or uh, I think his name is, yeah, it's Justin. So thank you Justin for sending me this. Um, I get to share it with you guys now. So here we go. John Murdy, he started a new uh, personal Twitter account um, that... Uh, it's literally just for him. He's not, I guess, uh, it's just his personal one now because um, he does do tweets off the HHN uh, Twitter account. Uh, and he posted this morning saying, Shall we begin? Greetings, boys and ghouls. When we get to 100 followers, the story will begin. Spread the word hashtag the last carney. Um, so, yeah, he's using the hashtag last carney as telling him as uh, kind of like a telling him, like, I guess this is what he's going to put in front of every tweet as he tells a story, but we'll see. And then he goes on to say, The following story is true. A 10% exaggeration factor has been applied to protect the guilty. No one ever made a difference by being like everyone else. Um, be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. It's time the tale were told of how you took a child and made him old. Uh, so those last three tweets were actually quotes from famous people. I'm, I'm, of course, the tweets are on the uh, screen, so you guys can look at them as we go. Um, but yeah, so then he goes on to say, Hello, boys and ghouls. I bet you're wondering what's going on. Well, I thought I'd use this as a Twitter account. I, I thought I'd use this Twitter account to do something a bit different. The most common questions I get asked by people is, How did you get to do what you do, and how can I do it too? He then goes on to say, That's not so easily answered. Everyone is different and everyone has a different path. Still, as I get to my last part of my career, I find it more and more important to try to uh, answer that question, to try to help the next generation of dreamers and screamers. That right there kind of made me a little bummed out because that is saying technically this might be his last year as HHN um, creative director. Um, John Murdy in the past, uh, since I've been going since 2011, um, he's been putting on a, a fantastic show uh, over the years, he's, he's brought some of the best properties to life, some of the best mazes, and, every, and you know, and, and to see him maybe be going this year kind of makes me sad because um, what if the next guy takes over and it's just not as good as John Murray or doesn't have the same imagination like John Murray? Like, there's a lot of people out there that have a, a very wild imagination. I mean, look at a lot of the YouTubers who do what we do. Um, if you look at the com HHN community in general, we all have voices, we all have opinions that uh, we'd love to share with you guys. I maybe agree with one thing, the League maybe agree with another thing, Awkward Arsic maybe has a different opinion on it, SoCal Exploring, like all of us, we, we do this because we like to voice our opinion, and I think this all started because John Murdy, you know, he, he gives us the opportunity to do that, he gives us the opportunity to... Um, put out something and we have the opportunity to say oh well, we don't think this is going to be good or we do think it's going to be very good a majority of the time we've all been super excited when he announces like a maze or something but the end result for us it's it's whatever you know we all have different opinions um i, I know a lot of the majority of opinions for last year were black walls and that was due to budget issues um but nonetheless we always have a good time every time we go regardless of what we think of the event uh he then goes on to say I try to I try to do a bit of I try to do a bit of that with HHN Twitter, but I thought it would be good to create a unique forum place for that. When you when you want to do something different, especially as a career, it's a scary proposition. You don't know where to go or who to ask. I certainly didn't have anyone. So he's basically saying that where he's at today, he kind of had to just work for it. He worked at 
Universal Studios for so long, and then he eventually just got into the uh, creative director uh, position uh, eventually. It takes time to do what you want to do. Um, I'm going to kind of relate to that. I have a series I want to do on the channel that I released a prelude to back in December uh, called Twisted Tales. Um, right now I'm in the writing process and I'm trying to cast it and get a crew together and I want to start shooting by the end of the summer. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's going to take time. You're not going to be... Um, uh, for example, like for a movie, you can't go in having that mindset like you're going to shoot this $100 million movie and it's going to be the best thing ever and stuff. Like It's going to take time. Like you got to start from like the nothing and you know if you don't gain a lot of viewership that's fine because people in the end are still um, at least watching it uh, maybe hopefully they'll spread the word but at least I'd rather be that person who has like 20 people watching than no people watching you know I mean I I, I am truly thankful for anyone who watches assembles upon my videos because it just means the world to me it gets it shows me that I have an audience and stuff like that and John Murdy is saying that where he got at today, uh, he didn't really have anyone, but he's grown so much that uh, he's built this audience and this fan base that uh, it keeps us tuning uh, in every year to Horror Nights to see what they have in stock for us. He then goes on to say, uh, so I'm just going to use this account to try to add and do just that, and the best way I know is to tell you how I got there. So part of this feed is going to uh, be my story, which I'm going to call The Last Carney. I'm going to tell it one tweet at a time. Um, he also says, you'll, uh, you'll know when I'm telling the story because I'll use the, that title at the beginning of each section. For years I've used the hashtag, hashtag Carney, and there's a reason for that. Uh, it's what I am and I'm proud to be one. I think some people in the industry take themselves too seriously. We all, uh, we are all Carnies. We're part of the long line of showmen and women that stretches back far into the past. One of my heroes is P.T. Uh, Barnum. The king of showmen, and I think we all follow in his footsteps in this biz. So if you're, if this is something that sounds like you're interested in, come along for the ride. It's a long, strange story. Some of it's funny, some of it's scary, but hopefully it will be entertaining. And if this weird world is something you're obsessed with, something you want to be a part of, maybe it will help you. What do you think? Are you in? Um, so basically, he's just saying that um, this Twitter account mostly is just to tell his story of how he got to where he is. Um, and that, like I said, it comes full circle again. I'm kind of scared because uh, if he's telling his story, then this probably sounds like this is going to be his last year. I'm hoping he does one more year after this because it would, it would be a nice good send off to like a nice goodbye. Um, I just wish there was uh, there's something like us fans can do to give him a huge thank you because not enough words can express uh, how thankful I am for Halloween Horror Nights. Because of Halloween Horror Nights, um, I got to meet so much new people this year alone um, and I'm just so thankful for that because um, there's this community out there that likes the same things I do and when you get to meet these new people you get to actually know more about them and stuff like that and you get to actually relate to a lot of them I'm doing another podcast right now with uh, host Tilly from TLAV I didn't know so much stuff that he knew um, and I, I, I got to like know this guy and, and I'm still I'm still learning stuff about him and he's just such a nice and, and super cool guy and um, I, I just I'm super thankful that I'm doing a podcast Soul Cal Exploring uh, that guy we talk a lot on, 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 on like constantly you know so he's really cool and and you know like we talk about problems and shit like that it's just like that awkward arsic uh, he's a really cool guy I've talked to him on the podcast many times I've, I've texted him on Twitter a couple times he's, he's a really cool guy the rest of the league they're all very nice people dude they they literally you can see that they have a passion for what they do and they want to give back to the fans and stuff like that I recently just did a video which will be out tomorrow on the new mind Sword podcast with Eddie Tamant um, who's a very nice and very down-to-earth guy like I'm just saying you meet so much people doing this And that's all because of Halloween Horror Nights We originally started our channels because of Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah, we do other horror stuff because we're horror fans But it's Halloween Horror Nights in the end of the day that makes us do what we, what we love doing and I cannot uh, be more thankful than that so um, He did uh, one last tweet um, He did two tweets from Mother's Day. He goes since it's Mother's Day in America, I would be uh, remiss without giving a shout out to my mother. If you, if you, it's a rare, it's, it's rare, he, he kind of messed up. It's rare you find a Catholic 
uh, theologian, uh, author of multiple books, who is also willing to support her kooky son's obsessions as evidenced by this pic from one of uh, my home haunts. And then he goes, and that's my grandmother in the pic. She also owned her costume, which uh, she also owned her own witch costume. For some reason, I never found it strange. More on her later. She's definitely factors into the story. And yes, that's a real axe, my friend. Uh, Lee is holding scary. So, um, he kind of just did that because uh, as of this recording, it's, I recorded this on Sunday. Um, it is Mother's Day today. So that was cool for him to do a little Mother's Day shout out. He, if you guys don't know by now, John Murdy right now is currently living in Ireland. Um, and that's what also got fans wondering too like will this be his last year because he is moving out to he moved out to Ireland with his family and he's living out there full time now uh, he makes trips back to do uh, most recently he did um, Monster Palooza he'll be here for Midsummer Scream any other conventions maybe he'll be here but um yeah it, it, it's always just uh, a sad and bittersweet moment if this is gonna be John Murray's last year and I just want to if he for some reason stumbles upon this video and uh, the rumors are true that this is his last year. Um, I just want to give him a huge thank you because, like I said, without him, I would have never been where I'm at today, getting to do what I love to do, and I never would have gotten to meet all these amazing people because um, I've, I've made so much friends doing this channel that it's really cool. Like now we're gonna, we're planning like future videos and stuff like that. And, I just, I'm, I'm super excited to have where I'm at right now. I have my cousin, he's the other half of Knights of Horror, so um, I have him to be thankful for. I have, obviously, all the people I've met doing this YouTube experience, and I have, most importantly, John Murdy and HHN to be very thankful for, for getting me to, uh, let me let me cover all their news and stuff like that. So, yeah guys, I know this is kind of a deep, a little bit emotional video when I talked about it in the middle, but. That's just kind of what I feel about John Murdy possibly being leaving this uh, this year. I hope it's not true, but uh, we'll find out. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for the Mindless Horror Podcast. And then tune in Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday for the Nerd Fan Base Podcast on my other channel. And Thursday for a new original video on that channel. Um, yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for continuing to support me. And I appreciate you every one of you who subscribe and who are just watching and stuff like that took the time to watch this video um i'll see you guys in the next one bye